Hello everybody, let's talk about some beauty type things um, that will absolutely help you on your health journey. Let's talk about it. Okay y'all, so as we get started, let me start with, I am going to put links in the description for all of these things that we talk about. Um, these are probably the most common questions that I get regarding physical skin type things during a health journey. So one of the first questions is how often should I get a massage? You should absolutely get a massage at minimum, minimum once a month. You need a chance for your body to restore, a chance for your body to come back to balance, a chance to say thank you to all those muscles that have worked so hard for you, workout after workout, um, they need, they need their rest too. So a massage once a month is absolutely important. Then another question that I get a lot is what can I do with the extra skin? So, um, if especially you've had extreme weight loss, so perhaps either a lot of weight that you've lost or a, a decent amount of weight in a short amount of time, um, then there's going to be some extra skin, right? I mean, ladies, it happens and stuff does not always go right back to where it was and that is okay. Let me just, it is okay. Um, but there are some things that you can do when it comes to the extra skin and helping that out. There are a ridiculous number of products that are out there um, of things that you can do and things that you can get. I can honestly tell you, I think what makes the biggest difference um, in things like that or topical skin or even cellulite, which will, will be another question, um, is really just bringing awareness to it in a loving way. Does that make sense? Like a loving awareness to what's going on. So I feel that whenever you buy those products, it doesn't have to be. I found a, um, a lotion that I really like that is ridiculously inexpensive. And you can spend $100 on lotion, you know, firming lotion. Now, whether it actually works is absolutely questionable, but I feel that, I feel as though a lot of times just putting attention, taking the time every day to rub on your stomach actually does more for it than the whatever product is in the cream itself. So because I, I also know that creating stimulus and blood flow to an area, whatever that area may be, is super helpful and healthy and your body loves it. Uh, so just bringing that attention to it. Um, but I will absolutely include a link of the lotion that I personally use um, because you just wanna stay hydrated. And by all means, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You could use something as simple as a coconut oil or an avocado oil or almond oil. Um, I tend to lean more towards uh, coconut and almond oil. Almond oil, it's on a molecular level, it's a little bit smaller. And so it helps your body to absorb it a little bit better. Whereas coconut oil is a little bit bigger. Anyway, too much science just do something, just do something and it'll absolutely make a difference. Um, and then of course, whatever you need for hydrating stuff too. Now for cellulite. So cellulite is goodness. I feel like there's so many definitions when it comes to cellulite as to, you know, is it fat? Is it water? Is it, is it fascia? It's all of the above. Okay. So let's just be real. I'm going to go right here, right? So if we're trying to get rid of cellulite here, um, First of all, you cannot target tone, okay? Well, sorry, <laughs> you can absolutely target tone. You cannot target lose. So you cannot look at your thighs and go, hey body, can you please remove yourself from like right here? No, you can't do that. So overall reduction of body fat is going to help with seeing those results and reduction of body, uh, reduction of unwanted dimples that you may have, okay? Um, getting a regular massage will absolutely help the cellulite because it helps break up that fascia. So imagine if we had, um, sorry, I, this was a, an example I wasn't even knowing that I was going to give. Um, but imagine, let's say saran wrap. So saran wrap is something that we wrap things with, right? So imagine that your body was a bunch of saran wrap. Now you know how saran wrap, you put a divot in it, um, and that divot will stay there in the saran wrap, right? Have you ever noticed that? Like you take, take a sheet of saran wrap, poke your finger through it, and it, that's, that hole will stay there. It never goes back into place. 
Um, your fascia, thankfully, is alive versus the saran wrap, which is not. So God created our, our bodies with the ability to heal itself, with the ability to repair. And so beautifully enough, your fascia, when you get a divot or a dimple, it does not necessarily mean that it will always be there. Um, so fascia, being able to work through that fascia with a deep tissue massage is probably going to be best. Um, maybe not your favorite, but it will make a difference um, to help work through that. Things like cupping can also be helpful to that too because again, you're bringing blood flow to the area. Um, there are little tips and things that people say that they swear by. Like I know people that swear by apple cider vinegar, whether they do it in shots or gummies or whatever. Um, also when you drink your water, um, adding just a little bit of uh, baking soda to it, just a little bit, just a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. The baking soda kind of basically helps alkalize the water a little bit while the um, salt helps makes it, makes it a little bit more absorbable. Um, same thing people say, you know, in the bathtub when you do like how I, I mean, I do all my baths with Epsom salt, baking soda to help my body to absorb it a little bit better. Um, anyway, that was probably way more than what you eat what you or I thought was going to come out of my mouth. Um, okay. And then let's see, I made notes. Oh, so, um, another question that I get is when I have clients, cause obviously I'm around people that are sweating all the time. And sometimes people are like, Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm offensive because I have an odor. I do not care, but people recognize themselves when they sweat and they're like, Ooh, something smells a little funky. So, um, and deodorant is great. Um, diet is going to make a huge difference because if your body, if you're eating a cleaner diet, you won't stink as much. Um, and if you're eating a diet that has a lot of garlic or onions, or um, I can tell you there's certain cuisines that just, when you sweat, you will smell what you ate. And sometimes it's okay. It's, it is what it is. Um, but then with that, uh, I will tell you that I personally, I do a detox about two times a year. And it's a it's a, a powder substance that I put with apple cider vinegar and just a little bit of water just to kind of make it into a paste. And then I, I actually put that on my armpits and I let it dry. It Because of the apple cider vinegar, it reeks to high heaven. But I'll tell you, if I forget my deodorant, I do not stink, which is amazing. So I use natural deodorant, which to me, a natural deodorant is one that does not include aluminum. Um, they have traced aluminum back to breast cancer. This is science. I don't have the study for it, but play around on Google. Um, but aluminum in your deodorant can lead to breast cancer. And it's been a question as to why are men also now getting breast cancer when they don't have, a, they still have breast tissue. Anyway, but they've been able to trace it back to um, an overuse or just more than what your body can handle is really what it is. Um, more than what your body can handle of aluminum. So being able to use a natural deodorant as much as possible is amazing. And actually I'll go ahead and make sure that I link um, my personal favorite deodor natural deodorants. Um, I like also keep in mind that some of them have changed. So like, uh, for instance, native, native used to be one that was totally natural. Now it is, uh, there's another company that bought it. Um, and so now it has a fragrance ingredient, which if you know, fragrance is like anything could be in it. Now I'm not going to tell you that I don't still use it. I will still use it. Um, but there are some people that are very, I don't like it, but I don't mind it. So, um, and then another one of my absolute favorites is called primal pit paste. Now they make primal pit, primal pit paste. I know it's a great name, isn't it? In like a little jar, which that one you have to like use your finger and rub it on. I don't like that one as much, but they do make one in a stick. And so it's good. You just have to like kind of press it on your armpit for a little while and then you rub it in. I will tell you anytime you're using a natural deodorant, if you just take it to your pit and start rubbing it around like you would a normal deodorant, your skin is probably gonna get irritated really fast. So um, whenever you're using a natural deodorant, you actually just want to go in here, you kind of press it, let it get warm, okay? Use your own natural body heat to let it get warm and then gently move it around. And so that way you're getting 
um, you're actually putting on the deodorant instead of just irritating the skin. Um, so anyway, I hope that you guys find that helpful. I love you guys. There's some skin-ish tips and tricks of what you can be doing um, along your health journey. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.